Now, the irony is beginning to the bottom of all this talk about the so-called flying stuff. As a matter of fact, 509 atomic bomb group headquarters at Rockwell, New Mexico, group headquarters at Rockwell, New Mexico, reports that it has received one of the discs, which landed on a ranch outside Rockwell headquarters at Rockwell, New Mexico. All right, the video that I'm going to show you today is something I covered about a year ago, but I think I figured out what we're looking at. Back then, I had no idea. I thought it was a UFO. Now, I'm, I'm almost 100% convinced it is some type of black budget military experimental you know, weaponry, right? Kind of like we're seeing with the USS Nimitz and all these crazy Navy videos going around right now. Okay, the Pentagon, for example, by 2023, they've asked for $304 million, okay, to fund research into space-based laser particle beams. I mean, I sound like Dr. Evil from Austin Powers, but you know, it, they're ask they're literally asking our government for $304 million because they want space to earth, space to space weaponry, okay? And we know this has been going on since the Cold War, World War II, Roswell, whatever. Pick your timeline. Uh, for example, Project Field, T-H-E-L, look it up. Okay, again, that is an Earth to space, you know, laser technology funded by these military black budget projects, okay, from 1996 to 2005. Or what about the, the X-37B, right? The orbital test vehicle, basically the mini space shuttle. Okay, it's had about what four or five missions, and we don't know what it's doing up there. Okay, guys, I could go on and on and on. There's so many uh, of these programs, you know, from the Pentagon, from our, our military, but I think they are space based weapons, and that's what we're seeing here. Okay, we're seeing test firing, we're looking at, you know, reversed, uh, you know, engineered alien craft equipped with you know the latest technology made by man possibly reverse engineered i don't know maybe a combination i think it's more of a hybrid if you want my honest opinion um but that's what i think it is now it's crazy like i said i made the video probably a year ago and i just started looking into these government funded projects and it, it just blew my mind I mean, what the, what they're what they're doing. I mean, look at Ronald Reagan talking about Star Wars, and now we have you know Space Force, all this craziness going on in the world. Uh, the USS Nimitz, Tic Tac, you know, uh, the gimbal. I mean, all all of these videos that have come out, and uh, I believe it, it, it's a hybrid, right? It's got to be. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm convinced that we're looking at hybrid alien man-made technology, you know, could be from China, Russia, who knows, possibly India. I know they're getting, you know, highly involved in, you know, space weaponry, uh, but that's what I think we're looking at. All right, let's break the video down here. Okay, so you're going to see these two... I don't know, UFOs appear. I, I don't know what to call them, right? I, I can't make sense of this anymore. And then it's, it appears to me like it's firing, you know, some type of laser. And again, could this be from our military black budget projects? But I'll tell you what I noticed, okay? Again, when I was editing my video, getting ready to post it, I just caught it, right? I put a filter on it and it brought out a triangular craft, what appeared to be a TR-3B right there, right-hand corner, bottom right-hand corner. I mean, that is clearly a TR-3B, a triangular craft, okay? And I mean, it's almost undeniable. It's firing, you know, some type of weapon. Now, keep in mind, you're looking at a NASA live feed, okay? I think from April 7th or 1st, 2020, about a year and a half ago. And right there, you see the triangular craft, it's shooting some type of laser, but the question is, is it alien, right? Or is it man-made? 